The Tibetan Mastiff is one of Tibet's most well-known and important dog breeds. They were bred as a guarding and sociable dog. Initially, they are used as stock and property security dogs. They enjoy their lives as family companions and show dogs. Today in this video, I present you the Tibetan Mastiff dog, folk killer or pet. Let's jump on it. The Tibetan Mastiff is a huge Chinese dog breed with a gigantic towering build, flowing mane and alert face. The breed is said to be as strong and as vigilant as a lion. For thousands of years, they have acted as powerful and imposing estate guardians in Tibet. Tibetan Mastiff retains its protective instincts, diligently guarding its home and family. Personality Tibetan Mastiff is the guardian dog supreme. These thickly covered giants are mellow and quiet about the house, lovingly devoted to family, yet distant and territorial with strangers. The breed is a huge-sized Tibetan dog breed. They aren't emotionally needy, which is ideal for owners who like independent dogs. They often sleep during the day and are alert in the night, ready to defend land and house. Temperament Tibetan Mastiffs are self-sufficient and clever dogs. They have a highly loving nature for their families. They may also exhibit protective characteristics, making them wary of strangers. This dog breed is affectionate, gentle, patient and understanding. The robust, big and athletic Tibetan Mastiff is a free thinker and his strategy. It can survive in a large enclosed yard with a dog partner as a socialized, more domestic dog, but it's not suitable for apartment living. Size and Weight Tibetan Mastiffs are a huge breed of dog. Males must be at least 26 inches tall and weigh between 90 to 150 pounds. Females must be at least 24 inches tall and weigh between 70 to 120 pounds. Puppies mature slower than other breeds. Females do not attain maturity until they are between 3 and 4 years old, while males might take another 1 to 2 years. Training Needs These dogs can be difficult to train. They are bright and become bored with constant repetition. They are less reliable in this regard than other breeds that respond strongly to food incentives. They are more inclined to obey orders if they trust their owners, although they may still return to their instincts at times. As a result, this breed works best with an experienced owner. Grooming Tibetan Mastiffs are surprisingly easy to groom. Brushing often and taking a bath or two might assist during this high shed but anticipate hair everywhere. To keep their tail and mane from becoming tangled, use a white tooth comb. The coat sheds little the remainder of the year, requiring just weekly brushing and washing when the dog becomes soiled. In addition to coat care and washing, dog requires dental brushing and nail clipping regularly. Health problems. There are a few health concerns that you should be aware of if you are going to own mastiffs. Hip and elbow dysplasia are two potential health issues for these dogs. These dogs may get hypothyroidism as well. Another possible problem to watch out for is progressive retinal atrophy. They have a tiny ear canal, which can lead to more ear infections than other breeds. Finally, Tibetan Mastiff dog, wolf killer or pet? Tibetan Mastiff may be helpful with children in some situations, but they are best suited for households with older children. A Tibetan Mastiff may view younger children rushing about and yelling as a threat. They may be dangerous if they are not properly taught and socialized. They are huge, protective dogs who may attract a human or animal they consider being a threat. They may be unpredictable and do best with experienced owners. Tibetan Mastiff is not suitable for first-time dog owners or those new with guardian breeds. This breed is tough to train and socialize, requiring a self-assured owner who can be stern yet fair leader. If I missed any information, let me know by commenting below. Thanks for watching this video. You are invited to watch more videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.